For some of the humanities courses, it can be anything between about kind of four and nine students to a class. Uh -huh. so, so it just depends because sometimes they need more discussion mm -hmm. and smaller groups. But mm -hmm. in mathematics classes, it's more about kind of concepts and practicality. So you can have slightly larger groups and it means that people can bounce off each other a little bit uh -huh. in class. Uh -huh. It means that you can really kind of concentrate on lots and lots of different students uh -huh. in the class uh -huh. and they have um, kind of different abilities if you mm -hmm. like. So we have, we have all of our students are, are fairly bright uh -huh. but as you can imagine um, they all have got their different uh -huh. areas of weakness and their different areas of strength. Uh -huh. So you can tailor your teaching mm -hmm. if you've got slightly smaller class sizes to make sure that everyone's got some really good individual attention. Mm -hmm. Um, we really try and build on all the fantastic mm. knowledge-based learning that mm. the students have had which comes from Eastern teaching. Mm. So uh, where there's a lot of kind of build-up of knowledge through kind of mm. through you know, rote learning if you like by listening to a teacher and actually mm. being able to kind of take in knowledge. So there's a very very good bank mm. of knowledge that they have. Mm. What we then do is that we then take all of that knowledge that they've got mm. in the classroom and that we de develop it mm. so that um, the students, if you like, um, can explore the concepts themselves so that they can actually be innovative mm. in how they actually um, interpret the different concepts that they've actually learned already. Mm. And what we do is we make sure they've got the right A-level subjects and we begin to understand what they want to do from a careers point of view. Mm. And then we put an individual program in place for every single one of our students. Mm. And what does that mean? Well, it means that we have to look at different universities that they might want to go to. It means that we might need to look at the different courses that they might want to go to. Um, you know, their leadership skills, their communication skills, their working together as a team skills, all those things which make a, a huge difference. Is that they have work experience in the October half term and again in the February half term and we do a fantastic three week international work experience in July where we take our students out to Malaysia and to India and we immerse them in, in different cultures and give them this fantastic work experience. It's done well because it's had absolutely incredible teaching. We have been very very careful about the teaching staff that we, we have. Um, it also has I think had an incredible focus on careers. So if you take young people for instance and you find out exactly what it is that they want to do, where do they want to go, what is their dream if you like. So say a young person's dream is to become a doctor and they want to go and study medicine at Cambridge University. You know you keep someone focused on that dream completely. Mm -hmm. And the A-levels, if you wait, in a way, are almost a kind of a byproduct. We kind of almost expect them uh -huh. because we keep, when, when, when things don't go right, which uh -huh. with many people sometimes they don't or they don't do quite so well in an exam, uh -huh. we keep them focused on that dream uh -huh. and we keep building their confidence uh -huh. and we keep picking them up 